Do you need this? Do you need this? Do you need that? How about those? All of these? What about this thing? No, you don't. Okay, so I'm trying to block you from the wind. Whether you've already got some of this stuff or whether you're starting from scratch and you just wanna get into it, this is where you should start. And for some of you guys that are just getting in and already have some stuff, this may help clear up some of the things you need. So, where do you start? I wanna tell you the first place you should start is going to be learning the seasonal patterns of bass. It's going to help you out whether you're fishing ponds, rivers, streams, or lakes. It's going to help you catch bass faster. But I know right now you just want to know what to buy so you can go out to your closest body of water and make a few casts. So let's start with the start and let's talk about the rods and reels you're going to need because before you make any cast, you gotta have a rod and a reel to cast whatever bait you wanna throw. Here's the good news, geeks. I'm gonna simplify all this for you. Trust me, graphite, carbon fiber, fiberglass, you know, glass rods. Man, there is a ton of stuff out there. And if you're like me and you're a geek, eventually you're gonna wanna learn all this. But if you're starting right now, you do not need to overload your brain on all that crap. Here's the good news. There is a standard when it comes to rods and reels. The bad news is it's not really a standard. As a matter of fact, it's not really a standard even across the same brand for different series of rods. So let's take a quick look at this standard. So this standard talks about power and action, okay? So a lot of times you're gonna see stuff like this. You're gonna see a seven foot three medium light plus, which the plus means it is a fast action on this. Now it doesn't tell you, but that's the power. The medium light is the power on this rod. Lower weight is probably the best thing you can go by. And you'll notice this goes from 1 8 to 5 8 which is pretty heavy ounces for a medium light plus. This is a Resolve by TFO, one of my favorite rod companies right here. Now, what you're gonna see 90% of the time is really gonna be things like seven foot medium, seven foot medium heavy, fast action, seven foot heavy, fast action, that sort of stuff. So length matters. Let's start with that, length. Now, if you're working a bank, you're casting, you're, you don't have a boat of any kind, uh, or a kayak or whatever. You, you can't be on the water. You've got to be fishing from the shoreline. Now, if you fish an area that's good and wide open, yeah, get you a longer rod. You know, seven foot, seven foot three, seven foot six, right? You can get away with that. But if you're fishing off this bank and you've got to be underneath all kinds of brush, you may want to scale down that length, right? So I'm gonna give you some, some rods that are gonna be in a good length range, okay? Everybody's different. And it's gonna take you time to learn what you like in a rod and reel for whatever bait it is you wanna throw. I know what it is you're saying. You're saying, daggone it, just get to it. Tell me what it is I need to buy. What are the first rods or rod that I need to start with? So for me, I'm gonna narrow it down to the first one. The first one that you're gonna buy. I'll give you a range and it doesn't have to be this rod, okay? It doesn't have to be this company. There's a ton of rods, reels, and, and companies out there that's going to get you into what you need. Now, every one of them is gonna be different. If you go buy my go-to in this rod, then the first rod is a seven foot medium fast action and that's going to be a spinning rod like this so i've already showed you the resolve guys this is a spinning rod okay we'll talk about more we're, we're, we'll talk about how to line it and how to cast it 
uh, how to be accurate with it, how to spool it up. All those videos are coming in the near future. I would go, you know, this is a, a high-end rod, okay? This one's gonna be a little expensive. Generally, what you're gonna wanna look for for me in a rod, and I'm gonna give you the price range, is that $100, okay? A spinning rod, you can get away with a lot cheaper than that. And it really depends on your budget. That's got a lot to do with it. There's some great rods out there for under 50 bucks, right? Same with spinning reels. Spinning rods, spinning reels, you can get away with a seven foot, probably wouldn't go any longer than that. We'll say a six, six to a seven foot and gonna go medium power, fast action. That's my go-to. 90% of my spinning rods, and I carry a bunch, are that setup. And the reason why I carry so many is so I don't have to tie different crap on constantly. Now, as far as reels, guys, you know I'm a big fan of loose, but there's a ton of great spinning reels out there. And I stress to you for your first one, do not, do not spend over like 75 bucks for it. There's a ton out there under 50. Uh, Lou's has one, I think that's, that's right at 50, it's 49. There's a ton of great spinning reels that are out there for that price range. I will put a bunch of links in the description. I do have links. It does help the channel out to Tackle Warehouse. And so I'll put like three, four different rods, three, four different reels, right? Now that's your first one. If you're, you can only buy one right off the bat. If you can only buy one combo, that's your combo right there. That's where you start. You're gonna be able to throw some worms, some Cinco's, some drop shots, some shaky heads. And by the way, that's where I would suggest you start as far as baits goes. And that's anything that you can bury the hook in a plastic and not get hung. Start there. We'll talk about that in another video. But if you can, three. There's three rod and reel combos that are going to make you or allow you to do 90% of anything you want to do. Let's go on to number two. This would be the second rod that I would highly recommend you pick up. And this is going to be a seven foot, again, you can get away with a six, six to a seven foot if you're a bank angler or you're fishing from a kayak. You know, if you're fishing from your buddies, still, I think a seven foot to a seven three. Six, six to seven three is gonna be where you wanna start. And this is a medium. I would say a seven foot medium is where you're gonna start. Medium fast to medium moderate fast. Medium being the power, moderate fast to fast being the action. And the action, let's talk about that a little bit. We've kind of passed over that. Basically the action is how fast your tip snaps back. So a moderate fast will snap back a little bit slower. So when that fish takes the bait, you're gonna have a softer tip, hence, treble hook baits, good. I would say definitely looking for that fast action. It's just a good all around action. It's going to snap back in, in at times where I think it's going to keep you from uh, making mistakes, losing the fish, and it's gonna be a little more sensitive. So you're gonna develop your feel for the bottom and the bite much quicker. Now, this is, you know, a good moderately priced rod. This is the Professional Series by TFO. I think they roughly go for about 130. That's kind of, the, again, the bang for the buck. That 200 for a combo is, is really great. But, you know, again, that's gonna depend on your budget. And there's some really great rods out there for under 100 bucks. But this one, this one is one I'm gonna definitely recommend. Now, let's talk about reel speeds, okay? This isn't a Kai, this is a little higher end reel, but let's talk about reel speeds. The spinning reel, you don't really have to worry about reel speeds on there. They all come in fives. Most of them come in sixes now. It is what it is. So, reel speeds. Let's talk about this one, which is a 7.3 to one. So that means how quickly it will take up line. Now for you guys, I highly recommend staying in those mid sixes. That's really gonna help you out as far 
as like what you need. You don't want to go too fast. You don't want to go too slow. So stay, you know, seven, we're going to say six, five to seven tops. Don't go over those numbers. So in other words, seven, three, be a little fast for you guys. You don't want to be a seven, oh, to one, seven, oh, you know, colon one, seven, uh, six, 0.5 to 1 and again what that means is every three turns this spool is going to turn seven and it's going to take up you know seven complete rotations and there's a whole deal about how much line it takes up and believe it or not even that's not standard in the real world because a lot of it is based on how much line you have on how much uh what size diameter the spool is i'm trying to keep you from bleeding from the eyes as i tell you this stuff so just understand roughly roughly six five to seven oh to one is what you're looking for all right again i will put links in the description to several different rods at different budget levels we're going to keep it you know on the cheaper side okay rods reels it'll all be down there last but not least if i had to pick a trifecta that would allow you to fish pretty much anything you wanted to fish this last one is gonna be it again this is the resolve a really high-end rod i love this for uh, worm fishing but this is a great one i wouldn't necessarily go with the seven three again a six six if you're really casting from a bank with a lot of overhang and stuff to a seven foot medium heavy fast action again remember pay close attention to your lower rating three eighths to one ounce this can handle some bigger stuff. Great rods, if you're starting out, you don't even know if you like bass fishing, listen, these will help you get there, I don't doubt it, but I would look at the professional series on the TFO first. This is gonna help you throw things like bigger swim baits, you're gonna be able to throw jigs, you're gonna be able to throw spinner baits. This is gonna be a little bit of a workhorse for you. And again, this is a lose, it's a really high speed, but I would recommend again, and, and you can even see here, I think, let's see, where's it at? Yeah, this is like a nine, five to one. What you wanna do is make sure that you're staying in that 6.5 to that 7.0, 7.1 worst case scenario is where I would stay. Lose makes a great LFS, it's a 6.8, and I think that's the 6.4 and the 6.8s are great. You're gonna be able to throw top waters with this, jerk baits with the medium. But anyway, that's the third rod and reel combo. And that really is, I wanna keep it that simple for you guys. I don't wanna go into a whole bunch of details and show you how smart I am and how big, I mean, it's big, how big my brain is. I mean, I am basket crap. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, my wife would tell you very much differently that my brain is teeny tiny. You know, guys, that's where I would start. That would be the first three purchases I made. Don't go running out and making a bunch of bait purchases. I know you're going to, but uh, you know, as my boat takes me into a, a tree here full of spiders, sometimes GPS works in the mountains and sometimes it uh, things move. But now, like I said, guys, that's really like my starter go-to stuff. And I'm just doing this to keep it super simple for you. I don't want to break it down into a bunch of crazy stuff. I just want to keep it that simple. All right. All right. So like I said, that's where I'm starting. Rod reel line set up. Hey, some of you guys out there that have been fishing for a while, help these newer guys out and tell them what some of the better bang for the buck lower end lower price rods and reels are put it down there in the comments man i love us geeks helping geeks right so what better way to do this as to grow some new geeks and that's what this series is going to be about we're really going to do a beginner series and i mean i'm going to keep it brutally brutally simple straightforward and what i would do now you can ask me all kinds of questions about this rod and that rod sure Go ahead, put those in the comment section if you're just starting. But when you're starting, you got to start somewhere. And a lot of times that means just putting your hands on a rod and reel, going out there and using it, tying on some baits, 
again, I stress to you, don't go out there and buy a whole bunch of baits. We'll talk about these three rods and, and what they can be used for in another video when we get to our baits. Next video, we gotta talk about line. And that's about as confusing as rods and reels. So that's what we're gonna do next, guys. I hope you like this. I hope you like this sort of straightforward, no BS sort of take on it. It's, I think it's the easiest way to get going because people just wanna run out and buy things. Like I said, I'll put links in the description of some of the better, and, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll use uh, Tackle Junkie and uh, Debo's recommendations. I know we, we have this discussion almost every time we do a live, uh, people asking us this question. So questions, comments in the comment section below. Guys, hope you like the beginner series. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. Join the 100% watch squad if you are a newbie because man, watching 100% of this helps me live my dream, which is helping you. And the more I get to fish, the more I get to learn and the more I get to help you guys out. All right, as always, you geeks rock.